So then the second question from last night, Larry, is if elected or reelected, uh, what policies will you seek to change and why? Well, I, I would, um, and I've said this before in public meetings, I, I, I would I, I would work to change, uh, for instance, our zoning regulations. Uh, and I would also work to uh, complete the update of the, of the master plan because there have been many um, social, uh, economic, and environmental changes since the master plan was last uh, uh, first adopted in 1996, and since our zoning uh, code was first written. Uh, so all those changes that have happened in, in the past number of years, last 25, 30 years, and things change. Um, for example, um, back in 1996, when the master plan was approved, um, they had uh, zoned the property and the land use uh, designation under the master plan on the corner of Highway 398, 395 and 88, which is now currently being developed on the east side of the highway there. Um, that was zoned for um, a casino and an RV park and a mall, a, a shopping mall. People thought we were gonna have a big shopping mall down here in Minden Gardnerville. Well, the internet changed all that. Uh, I mean, uh, the brick and mortar business has been severely impacted um, by the uh, by the internet, and and uh, the the need for um, uh, more brick and mortar retail, for example, uh, has changed. Um, the need for office commercial has also changed. A lot of people are working from home. Um, so um, they don't need to have a, an office in a, in a big building somewhere. Um, so uh, it's, it's, so, and, and I'll tell you what, uh, the, one of the reasons I, I, I wanna change our zoning regulations is because that property had um, a, a zoning, um, uh, had, had zoning of a, a commercial light, I think it was neighborhood commercial. Um, I think that's what the zoning was on it. Uh, and tourist commercial, which is hotel and, and casino. Um, and I, I recognize that uh, we had too much commercial in Minden Garden and, and, and not enough high density housing. So uh, we voted to, to change the zoning on that property from neighborhood commercial, tourist commercial to multifamily. And the reason we had to do multifamily is there's no small lot designation under our zoning code. Uh, say for example, um, um, you know, a typical lot uh, in, 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 in Reno or uh, wherever, in, in any urban area, uh, is, you know, 5,000 square foot. Well, we have, our towns are urban areas, and, and we don't have a zoning code uh, that allows us 5,000 square foot lots. But under a multifamily zoning, you're allowed up to 16 units per acre, which we would never build. But uh, So that would give it the ability of the developer to... Um, uh, to um, manufacture, develop rather, 5,000 square foot lot, high density housing right here in downtown Minden. Uh, and so um, uh, we got a lot of flack. I got a lot of flack when I voted for the multifamily um, uh, designation. Uh, people thought we were gonna have big apartment buildings there and there was gonna be gangs and graffiti and, 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 and what have you. That's simply not the case. That, that, that um, uh, property is now being developed into single family residential lots uh, that will be owned uh, by uh, regular taxpayers, people who have regular jobs, uh, and it'll be a really nice community. In fact, there's a community right almost adjacent to that is behind the old Lira's market uh, that has lots smaller than that. And that's a beautiful community. I've driven through there a couple of times in the last uh, several months. And so it's a beautiful community. And, and so I would change the zoning code to allow us to have smaller lots. That's one thing that, that's one um, change I would make. Um, and I think it's important. There's a lot of other things in the zoning code that need to be updated uh, so that we don't have uh, as many variances. We have a lot of variances uh, uh, in our uh, zoning code that allows, that says you can do this, but just in case you can, you can ask for a variance for the X, Y, or Z. 
you know, it should be very, very clear and, and the commission should, be not, should not be um, a burden with the fact of making a decision on a variance. So I, I, would, I would change uh, some of that. Uh, I, I'd also like to see us finish the update of the, of the master plan. Um, you know, we've been um, having issues with that. It was last updated in 2011. It was supposed to be updated in 2016 or has drug on since then without an update. Um, one of the reasons is that uh, we thought uh, the actual master plan itself, the text portion, it's about that thick. It's about three inches thick. Very unwieldy. It's, it's, it's um, uh, too wordy. We needed to change the text. And we also needed to change the land use maps uh, within the, um, uh, the master plan. Um, the, the land use, use maps were, were last updated in 2011. Most of them for, were from the original 1996 master plan. Um, and um, the, the first thing we wanted to do, which we accomplished last year, was um, uh, to change the master plan land use maps to coincide with the, um, with the town boundaries. The town boundaries have changed since 1996. Um, to coincide with the um, utility district boundaries, which has also, also changed since 1996. Uh, to coincide with, um, what else? With, oh, with um, uh, future urban reserve areas that have been identified by the uh, towns as future growth areas, or to coincide with the town's plans for prosperity. All those, all those different things have, have new boundaries now. So we wanted to update um, those um, uh, our, our land use maps to uh, coincide with with uh, utility companies in the towns and the GIDs, uh, and, and we did that. One of the outcomes of that was, um, um, uh, and I'll talk about this later on. But we have what we call receiving areas of Douglas County, which have been designated for future growth, and we've had areas identified since 1996 uh, for future growth. Uh, one area was down in, in uh, across from Topaz Ranch Estates on the Elephant Ranch. Uh, one is uh, a big area located up on Johnson Lane, but it's part of the Bentley uh, Ranch. Um, uh, those areas uh, would very likely remain agricultural. Uh, we'd like them to remain that way. Um, so we need to change some of those receiving areas. And one of the uh, one of the things we did when we changed the land use map was to grant a receiving area to Park Ranch Holdings that has, uh, that has um, about 1,044 acres, I think it is, on Buckeye Road, um, which, is, which is really infill. It's surrounded by existing housing and, and commercial uses and retail uses and, and um, public facilities and industrial, a lot of industrial out there. So it's a, it's a great place uh, for infill, for future development. So we made that that changed in the master plan. But going forward now that we have changed all those maps, uh, going forward, we have to change the text. And, and, the, the, and, and the, the text um, uh, is comprised of various policies and goals in the master plan. And we really need to clarify those goals, make them uh, understandable. Uh, I can tell you that in the, in the uh, 20 something years that I've been dealing with the master plan, um, there have been arguments that this particular goal in the master plan says this. Well, the next person says, no, it really says this. And somebody else says, no, it really says this. So we really need to, uh, to clarify those goals and policies so it, it's not really subject to interpretation, but very clear. So um, those are some of the policies that I would like to see changed uh, in Douglas County and, and, and I'll work uh, I'll work hard to, to make sure we get those changes done.